Today, the world speaks almost 3,000 languages, not counting dialects. Let's talk about those that are the most difficult to learn. Chippewa language, USA, North Dakota. One of the most difficult languages is the Chippewa language of the American Indians. It has about 6,000 verb forms, more than any other language. At the same time, you know at least two words from this language, totem and wigwam. Haida language, Canada, Northern US. It has about 70 prefixes. Currently, the language is on the verge of extinction. In Canada and Alaska, it is spoken by about 300 people. Tabasaran language, Russia, Dagestan. The language of the Lesgi branch of the Nok Dagestan family of languages holds the world record for the number of cases. They are distinguished in the Tabasaran language from 44. Nanasan language, Russia, Far East. Native speakers, Nanasans, live on the Tamir Peninsula. For 3,500 years they have been living by reindeer herding, which is reflected in the language. There are more than 20 words for a deer in the language. The age of the deer, its gender, the quality of the skin and the branching of the antlers, everything matters. The Nanasan language was written only in 1990. It was based on the Cyrillic alphabet, supplemented with letters to designate specific sounds. Russian language, Russia and the world, it is the most complex of the common languages. Unlike other complex languages, it is the official language of an entire country. Unreproducible sounds, accents that change the meaning of a word, declensions are just some of the problems that foreigners who decide to study it face. What is worth one, only this phrase, yes, no, probably, consent, refusal, doubt, and all this in one sentence. For a foreigner to understand, this is a real nightmare. Nivik language, Russia, Sakhalin. The Nivik language is spoken in the north of Sakhalin Island among the Nivik people. According to Japanese researchers, it is the ancestor of the Japanese language. The language is distinguished by a unique system of numerals. To count something, you need to understand whether these are animate objects. If so, what gender are they, and if not, what form? In total there are 26 classes of numerals. Sami language, Scandinavia and Russia. The Sami live in Norway, Sweden, Finland, in the north of Russia. Sami has about 180 words for snow and ice. For example, vodka, fresh and loose, cocky, dense and hard, skava, fallen out in a thin layer and frozen, gwoldu, a snow cloud rising from the ground in conditions of severe frost and lack of wind. Chinese language, China and the world. Unlike Europeans, who learn dozens of letters, the inhabitants of the celestial empire crammed hundreds of hieroglyphs. In the Zonghua Zihai Dictionary, there are 85,568 of them. Moreover, one hieroglyph can have several meanings, often directly opposite. Another problem is phonetics. It includes four tones, and if you choose the wrong one, the meaning of the word or phrase will be distorted. For example, the phrase, how ku, with different intonations can mean, very cool, very bitter, crying, yelling loudly. Abkhaz language, Abkhazia. There are 64 letters in his alphabet, and only two of them are vowels, a, uh, and, s. The remaining vowels, which are indicated in writing by the letters e, o, and y, are obtained from their combination with consonants. By the way, the last ones in the literary Abkhazian language are 58. For example, good afternoon, will sound like, mishabzia, and, let's get to know each other, che hebedirp. Tuyuka language Brazil, Colombia. According to various estimates, there are from 50 to 140 grammatical genders in the language against R3. Verbs also have their own complexity. Tuyuka belongs to factual languages, that is, each phrase is supplemented with a part of the verb, which shows how the speaker knows about what happened. That is, if you decide to say in the Tuyuk language that two monkeys have just fought, the interlocutor will immediately understand whether you saw it or assume it. Sanskrit, India Classical Sanskrit has about 36 phonemes. If allophones are taken into account and the writing system takes them into account then the total number of sounds in Sanskrit increases to 48. The big problem with Sanskrit is that one word in it can have up to several dozen meanings. And no one will call a cow in classical Sanskrit a cow, it will be, variegated, or, hair-eyed. The 11th century Arab scholar Al-Biruni wrote that Sanskrit is, a language rich in words and endings, which designates the same object with different names and different objects with the same name. That's all, if you liked it, push like button, subscribe and click on the bell. Have a good day.